Jose Mon. Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Another video for you guys regarding NVC update cases, document, and emails. And they are working on this week. And also, I have a one hour and 30 petition tip for you guys who are new in the process. If you are new here, my name is John. My goal is to help newcomers, permanent residents, and also US citizens regarding the immigration questions, some of the immigration questions, especially. I want to process and sometimes we talk about different topics just to help newcomers here in the United States of America. But today's video, uh, like I always do, is regarding uh, cases, documents, and emails NBC is working on this week. Some of you guys uh, who are new in the process, uh, you're wondering when you're going to receive your welcome letter, when you're going to receive your interview appointment letter, or what's going to happen after you file a want to petition for your relative. So every week, uh, NVC update on their website. Some of you guys don't have a chance to, you know, check the update. Or again, some of you guys are new in the process, don't even know that NVC update on their website every week. And this update is for some of you guys uh, who petition for your relative who will come to United States of America on immigrant visa, or uh, who are thinking about on petition for a relative who lives uh, overseas. Okay. So this week on NVC announced on the website that they are working on cases they received from USCIS on, on May uh, 9. Okay, so again, every week they will receive a case from USCIS and they're gonna work on. So basically, once they receive on those cases, they will key in all the petition information in the system and then uh, create a visa case for you and then send you a welcome letter. Some of you guys uh, who are immediate related, meaning that you are parent of a U.S. citizen, you are spouse of a U.S. citizen, or children under age of U.S. citizen, you will uh, have a visa uh, available for you right after USCIS approve your case. Though you don't have to wait until uh, your priority date uh, becomes current before you receive a welcome letter from uh, NVC. Okay, but some of you guys uh, who are not immediate relative, like uh, siblings of U.S. citizens or adult children of uh, uh, U.S. citizens or permanent resident or even spouse of uh, you, uh, permanent resident, you guys have to wait until your priority date is current before you can uh, continue the immigrant visa process. Sometimes uh, when you call NVC after your case is approved, and once they receive your case, they can give you the case number and invoice ID. Uh, but if you are not immediate relative, you won't be able to do anything until the priority date is current. Okay. So once you receive uh, your welcome letter, meaning that you receive information regarding your case number and invoice ID, you can log into NVC system, pay fees, and then uh, submit some documents. So every time you submit a document, you pay those fees. NVC will review everything to make sure they are correct. So this week, uh, NVC announced on the website that they are reviewing documents they received from you guys on March 9. Okay, they are reviewing those on document. They will let you know if uh, you miss a document or you know something is not correct. But if everything is correct, all you gotta do is to wait until uh, they schedule any of your appointment for you and then notify you. When I say you, I'm talking about you the uh, intending immigrant, the person who will get immigrant visa to come to United States of America. Okay. So then the third update is regarding emails. Sometimes you have a question or uh, maybe you want to know when you're going to receive your interview appointment letter or why you are waiting uh, for so long. Well, NVC always do their best to reply to those uh, uh, inquiries. So this week they're saying that they are responding to uh, emails they received from you guys on March 23rd. So make sure you check your invoice or you can even log into NVC Computer Electronic Application Center to see if they send you a message. If they send a message, make sure you read the message correctly and understand exactly what they say in the email. Okay, if you cannot speak English or you cannot read English, well, you can Ask somebody to read the email for you and let you know what they said okay so guys um as far as some uh, tips on uh, that i have for you today on uh, i want 30 tips is like what well, some of you guys want to know if you can uh, petition for your siblings uh, as a permanent resident if you're a permanent resident no you cannot petition for your siblings only u.s citizen adult u.s citizen can petition for their siblings okay so guys and um, that's it for today's video that's all i have for you I hope you love this video. You like it. If you, 
you know somebody you think will benefit from it just share with that person okay if you want to be notified every time i have a new video well just click on the bell if you want to subscribe to this channel click on subscribe button uh we have a usm on shop for some of you guys who want to support us we, the link is in the description below and also we have on uh, now we have on uh, super chat uh, if you see under this video you see like a uh, heart with a dollar sign in the middle yeah if you want to support the channel you just click on that and then support the channel okay once again my name is john thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in another video usa Mondo.